Hi guys, it's me. And I'm sitting behind my desk in my office. I feel very official. Almost like the President of the United States over here. So yesterday, Mrs. Cruiser introduced you to three-dimensional shapes in math. She introduced you to two. Do you remember what they were? If you said sphere and cylinder, you are right. So I want to review those two. I have a globe that my son made. So this round shape right here, what is that called? Do you remember? Is this a cylinder or a sphere? Yes, if you said sphere, you're right. The sphere is the shape of a ball. You can roll it, but you can't stack it. It doesn't have any flat sides. So if that was a sphere, then this must be a cylinder. Good. A cylinder has a round side and another round side, and it can roll, and you can stack things on it, like paper can stack things. I'm here to introduce two new three-dimensional shapes. Now remember, a flat shape, like a square, like a piece of paper, this is flat, okay, is two-dimensional. What shape is this? A triangle, and it's flat. So this is a two-dimensional triangle and a two-dimensional square. Sphere and cylinder, those are three-dimensional. And I'm here to introduce two more three-dimensional shapes. The first one is, will be pretty easy for you to identify, because what is this? It's a cone. It's an ice cream cone. And we call this shape, this three-dimensional shape, a cone. It does have a circle right here, if I turn it on its side. So you can roll it and you can stand it up. But can you stack something on top of a cone? Will my square balance on my cone? No. So this is a cone shape. Some other objects that are also the shape of a cone are a party hat. I wish we could be having a big party right now. This shape and this shape are the same. And even though they have a round, when you turn them on their side, you see a circle, you cannot stack anything on top of them because it would fall over. Now, one more thing that I found at the store, I stopped by the store really quickly just to see if I could find some cone-shaped objects is a snack that I haven't eaten in a really long time. And I saw them and I said, I need to buy these. So, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but it's the shape of a cone. It's really small. It's called a bugle. These are like corn chips and they are in the shape of a cone. So actually, look at this. This guy doesn't want to stand up. He's kind of warped. But I have a large, a medium, and a small cone. So, what is this called again? A cone, very good. I'm gonna put my cones to the side and I'm going to introduce you to another shape. Anybody know what this is called? This is a Rubik's Cube and this three-dimensional shape is called a cube. Any which way you turn this cube, it is the shape of a what? of a square, right? It has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. The flat part is what you call a face. And I can slide my cube. Can I roll my cube? No, I mean, I try to like roll a dice, but it doesn't really roll like a ball. Can I stack a cube? Can I stack something on side of a cube? or on top of a cube, I'm sorry. Yes, I can, look, I can stack my cone on top of my cube. 
And just so you know, a cube you can slide. I mean, a cone you can slide to. So if you can slide it on a table like this, that means they slide. So I have a cube. Another object that is shaped like a cube is my son's, this is kind of hard to see, Lego piece. We love Legos in this house. I find them everywhere, I step on them. So I have a Rubik's cube, I have a Lego cube, and I have a, do you know what this is? It's a fidget cube, but it, every side has, is the shape of a square. So I have three different, oh, and look, I can put them in order from biggest to smallest too. I have my biggest, my medium, and my smallest cube. So let's review really quickly, and then I want to see if you guys can go find some of these objects around your house. I am going to lay out I can't take this off, but this is the part we're looking at. Just the ball part. Okay, let's see, make sure you can see these all on the screen. So I have this, I have this, I have this, and I have this. Which one of these objects is a cube? Which one is a cube? I can slide it and I can stack it, but I can't roll it. It's the Rubik's Cube. Good job, I'm gonna put that one aside. Which one of these objects is a cone? A cone. I can roll it and I can slide it. I can roll it and I can slide it. This is the cone. Which one is a cylinder? A cylinder. I can stack it, I can roll it, I can slide it. This is the cylinder. I can slide it, I can roll it, and I can stack it. So then I have my last one right here. Everybody, do you remember what this is called? This is a sphere, right? And I can roll a sphere because it's round. It's the shape of a ball. So let's say it one more time. I'll say it, then you say it. Sphere, cone, cube, cylinder. Good job. Now your job is to go find a cube and a cone shape somewhere in your house. I'd love to see it texted to me. I'd love to see it on Padlet. However you guys can show me, I would love to see you find one of each of these shapes. And I hope you like that lesson about three-dimensional shapes. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.